I don't know what the fuck's going on upstairs. Oh, I forgot to plug my vent back up. It's going to be hot in here. So, I want to do a little video real quick. Uh, I was at work today, and I saw something on Facebook and Twitter and whatnot about Google supposedly like being interested in making a gaming console, and I call it shenanigans. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I just think that would be cheating. <laughs> I, I think they have so such a head and shoulders lead above Sony, Microsoft, and fucking Nintendo. And what I say by that is they don't have the experience, but they fucking know everything, dude. Like, Google knows everything about you. Google knows what porn you watch, alright? Google knows what sites you visit to buy stuff, what movies you like, what games you like, what this and that. Google knows every goddamn thing. Google knows probably knows what size shirt you wear, for fuck's sakes. So not only will they, like, just hack the world, as it were, and fucking this piece of hair is going to bother the fuck out of me. Uh, not only are they just going to immediately know what to put in the system that you want, or what to make for that system that you want, they're going to, your character is going to be made. You're just going to buy, like, the next Grand Theft Auto and, and the online mode, your character is going to be there with your shirt every fucking thing. Your glasses, it's going to be blind as fuck without your glasses. He's going to be like that one broad from fucking Scooby-Doo that I can't think of right now. Can't see it without my glasses. So it's just going to be stupid. Like, motherfucker's going to be accidentally putting a motorcycle helmet off and taking his glasses off. You're not going to be able to see shit while you're driving. It's going to be ridiculous. Unless they invest that in VR, which I would much prefer them dive into the VR business. Because VR is really expensive and I think Google would be able to afford losing some money on it to make it more expensive, like more accessible to people. And they would probably be able to put their budget into making it run on shittier PCs, kind of like mine. Mine only got a 1060. You know, some of that shit can run on a 1060, but it won't run or look nearly as good as it would if you were putting it on a 1080 Ti. You know? Uh, I mean, I do have a decent CPU, but whatever. Um moving past that. But no, I, I just wanted to say that I think that would just be so fucked. It either could go one of two ways, though. Like, it could be just terrible, and no one wants it, it sucks. Or it could be, like, the be-all, end-all, godsend, makes high-end PCs look like nada, like nothing, you know. But, then again, my Xbox One X is, like, $500, and it doesn't make my PC look like shit. Although, if some of those games that I've been playing on it were better optimized, such as PUBG, I would have a better comparison, but PUBG is not optimized, like, fucking at all for the Xbox One, or the Xbox One X, or just, it, it, no. Don't, don't bother playing it there, play it on PC, unless you don't have the choice, then deal with it, I guess. <laughs> um, but anyways, no, I just think something like that would just be, it could either, yet again, be like, shit, or be the best thing ever. And... Google is probably totally okay with taking a risk because they could they can afford to lose money on it. Let's be honest, they can afford to lose like probably a couple million on it, and it'd be fine. But if the if what I've heard in the past is true, I guess like Microsoft at at first took kind of a hit on the 360, no, or on the original Xbox, one or the other. I think they might have like originally kind of like took a hit, but. Like, they sold it for less than, like, they didn't sell for a profit at first, and then I guess they made a profit. Or I'm just not thinking straight, and I'm not thinking of the correct thing. Or I was lied to. I don't remember, I'm pretty sure I was told by someone, so, you know, could have been lied to. But I think one of them sold for, like, they sold it, like, under what they needed. Like, they, they lost money on it, and then eventually they ended up making money on it. I don't know. I think it was probably the Xbox, because then they were like, look at Halo, motherfuckers, and everyone was like, jeez, we need to buy the next Xbox. And then Halo 4 and Reach and everything came out, and everyone's like, why the fuck do we need to buy the, uh, the next Xbox? What are you doing? Plus, they're putting everything on PC, on Windows and shit, so it's like, why do we need to buy an Xbox? I mean, I'm still going to, probably, because I'm a punk-ass bitch. <laughs> no, but I'm, pro I'm probably still going to, because I like Xbox, I like a controller. Like, I've been playing on the computer lately, and I just I fucking I can't. Like, I can't shoot nearly as easily as I can on the control. I don't know why. That's just... I've played basically console most of my life, and I, actually, that's probably why. 
I do know why. <laughs> Turns out that's why. Um, but yeah, I, it just fe it feels like Google would probably have a strong upper hand just because also YouTube. Like, not only are they Google, Google owns YouTube, and that's how they know, like, what games you want or what games you're into. Not just you buying them or what you've searched, what you've literally watched someone play. Like, I imagine fucking... I don't really watch people play that many games that I don't have exploding achievement and they play whatever. But I imagine, like, Honestly, I wasn't going to buy Sea of Thieves until I saw a team miner. So they could, if they're looking at shit, they're like, yeah. He, he just watched them play that, and he gave the video a like. He he might be into this game. Why not, like, and then just steer you that way, because Google controls everything. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> but Google, like, knows everything. They know what you look for. They know what porn you watch. They know what games you play. They probably know where the last place you ate was. They, they're they gonna fucking just throw all that knowledge into a blender and be like, have this console, motherfucker. Or they're gonna just throw a bunch of shit into a console that they think would work, and then it's gonna turn out like ass. But it's Google. It's probably not gonna turn out like ass. It's probably gonna be not the death of anyone, any, like, game console market, or, like, Microsoft or, you know, Xbox division to Microsoft or anything like that. But I think it's definitely going to take a big chunk out of the market share if, if, you know, it's a big hit. Like, if it sucks, then we're all going to move on with our lives. But if it's awesome, everyone's going to be like, so, bye. Like, they're just going to be, the only reason I have a PS4, for example, is for the exclusives. If it wasn't for exclusives, I would never have bought a PS4. Why? Why I have an Xbox and I have a PC. Like, why I have a PS4? But then again, I want to buy a Nintendo Switch because I want to play Zelda. So, I feel like, if anything, it would probably eat away at Microsoft's market share. Just because, let's be honest, I love Xbox, but they ain't doing that much with exclusives. You know, every exclusive they've had so far is like... It's a game to play, but it's not a console seller. It's not a, it's not a, you know, box checker. It's just, if you have that console, cool, but it's not, you know, something in its column when you weigh the pros and cons of consoles. So, I feel like, unless Google has, unless Google has some exclusives for it, they might eat away at, you know, Xbox, but they won't eat away at anybody else because Sony's got bomb exclusives, Nintendo's got fucking exclusives that make motherfuckers lose their minds. Xbox, aside from Halo, and Halo recently is, in my opinion, gone down in quality ever since 343 took it over, in my, in my opinion. I still play them. I like them. I'm just saying, since 343 took over, it's felt like Bungie set a bar... And 343 was like, instead of trying to challenge ourselves and go above and beyond and wow people, let's go right, up, right under that bar. So everyone knows that we're not them. So that way they have their own memories of this game. <laughs> or some shit. Maybe that's how their logic to why it's not nearly as great. Then again, Halo 3 is a hard game to follow. Give them credit there. But, you know, they just... Mm. <laughs> Sorry, got distracted. But, you know, I, I kind of felt like that would start me somewhere and I would just go on and that would make the video. And that's what happened here. <laughs> so, but no, uh, you know, it, I want to see it happen if they do. they It's not a guarantee that they're going to. It's just like a rumor, as it were. Although, I, you know, I mean, they have something that they're working on, but the rumor is, I don't know if it was confirmed or not. I was at work, and I don't care enough, to be honest. I'm just going to ramble, and then you guys can check it out. I don't care enough to check it out. Like, I'll wait to see what happens. Like, if they show something at E3, then I'm interested. But until something like that happens, and it's not announced, it's just like a thing that they might do, they might not do, uh, I'm not going to care enough. But I'm hoping if they do, they somehow team with Xbox, because Xbox needs the bus. Actually, they don't. They, I, I like where Xbox is heading now that Phil Spencer's, like, fully got the reins of Xbox. Well, not fully. He still has to deal with, like, Microsoft's oversight, I guess. But he's the head of Xbox, so he's the head of that division. So there's that. 
and I feel like he, with all his success and recent, you know, time since he's taken over, I feel like that kind of gives him, like, the ability to be like, what up? You know, puff out his chest, um, and actually walk around and make big decisions, make big bangs, you know, make big bangs, because I make big bangs happen, or that, don't, sometimes I say things that are dumb, in a dumb way, uh, <laughs> Why did I say it like that? Um, I don't know. What the fuck is going on up there? But I felt like kind of just going on about that. I really do hope Google does come out and do something like that. And just like blows the doors off of E3. Like, we've got a surprise segment. I want them to like somehow reserve like an hour block that no one knows about. And then just Twitter go fucking nutty with, hey, did you hear? Like just that word of mouth kind of feel. I want it to be, like, a cool moment, and I want it to just blow everyone's socks off, but it's probably going to be lackluster as fuck. It's probably going to be, like, an Xbox One X little bit bumped. You know what I mean? It's probably going to be, like, you know, an Xbox One X, we got, like, two times the power or some shit like that. Like, we, we make it look like it's on a 1080. Not a 1080 Ti, but a 1080. Or a 1070. I want them to just be, like, <laughs> we make it look kind of better. <laughs> just kidding. I want them to, like, blow everyone's doors off like just full on if they're gonna do it i want them to go hard just be like here's an i7 8700k or you know not an i7 but you know a processor that's got similar specs to an i7 8700k i want them to be like here's all these bomb ass benchmarks here's these games and then it's just gonna be insane game after insane game after insane game that's just like gets everyone hooked and then i want everyone to be like Damn, it looks so pretty and it's so fun. Like the game looks awesome and really pretty and all these things. Um, I want everyone to just be like, "Wow," or if they like, I want them to do that. But it could be that, or they announce it, they release a bunch of specs. Everyone's like, "Cool," but what does it have? And they're like, every other cross-platform game. Like if they don't have any originals, it it kind of doesn't matter how insane it is unless it's like i7 compared comparative to an i7 comparative to 1080 ti all this stuff and it's under a grand or something like that then it's going to blow blow people's minds because that's super cheap like what what is going on unless that bitch overheats and crashes like every hour and then it's like well <laughs> but you get my point unless it's like Unless it's either got insane origin like ex uh, exclusives, original IPs, uh, or the power of the beast, p the best PC ever made in the history of mankind. I don't really see what or I don't know. It could just be like barely above the Titan X, depending on when it releases. But yet again, if it's barely above the PS4 Pro or the Titan X. If people were interested in buying a console like that, they either bought one or built a PC. That's it. Like, to be honest. So, they have to, like, go above and beyond, in my opinion, to really sell consoles or, you know, have above and beyond original IPs. Uh, but that's just my opinion. And I, and I, as you've seen throughout the video, not someone you should really take opinions from. I just say dumb shit a lot that I feel like is intelligent at times. Most of the time I feel like the shit I say isn't, but there are some times where I say something that sounds kind of dumb, and it's actually like on a higher level. <laughs> but, uh, no, I, I just, it, the idea gets me excited, but it also kind of doesn't. Like, if Google goes just fucking insanely hard on it it's just a super dope pc that has some cool exclusives from people that no one would think would do an exclusive deal with them or some shit like that like me hmm well sony's already kind of got the right like the rice is <sighs> they can't do an mcu thing I just kind of went on a, like, Sony's got Spider-Man, so I don't know if they'd go on, like, an MCU thing. I'm like, 
try to hook up a deal with like Disney. Google and Disney, that's a terrifying combination to be honest. They will take over the world. <laughs> like Terminator 2. Although it's not really the basis of Terminator 2. But you know, they'll somehow end up pulling the robots in the Terminator. I don't fucking know. I feel like that would be like the most powerful combination of companies like in the history of like entertainment. God, that's quite frightening, to be honest. <laughs> like, no one else is making money anymore. <laughs> Good God. Or there's just more money being made so more people can make said money. Whatever. Sometimes I say stupid shit. I told you. But, uh... Yeah, I, it's... If they don't do anything, like, really insane, like, in a good way, then I don't really know what the point is. Except for just to, well, the point could be for them as a company to diversify because they've seen the growing rise in video gaming in the community and they're like, why not? We have billions of dollars. Why the fuck not try to make more billions by spending a couple millions? You know? So there could be that, but I mean, yet again, like if you're going to do it, do it. So what's the point if they're not trying to make a splash by making either an awesome console Man, I wonder how the controller scheme is going to be. Is, are they going to do P PlayStation? Or are they going to do Xbox? Or are they going to be weird like Nintendo? Or are they going to just make a fucking new one up? Fucking be like, fuck you, play with mouse and keyboard. It's actually secretly a PC. Go fuck you. Like, what are they? I wonder how, I wonder what they do. And probably like, just look at their Google infographics and somehow like, see what the majority of people like because yet again they're Google they fucking know everything so they're just going to be like yeah most people like this controller design we're just going to work out a deal with that brand and get their design and here you go or they're just going to be like let's do some copycat shit just not super uh able to be told like able to see that it's super copycat like super sneaky style ninja style <laughs> but uh i i don't know it, it's it's something i was thinking about and then i kind of did this you know i started talking and when i start talking i just keep fucking talking um sorry uh but no i what do you guys think what are the like two people watching this thing i i, I want to know like tweet me or some shit don't comment on this video. Or do. I'm probably just not going to read it that... No, I'll probably get it. Yeah, I have... I'll probably read it, like, tomorrow. I'll probably read it within, like, 24 hours uh, of the comment posting. But just tweet at me so we can actually have a dialogue. Um, or DM me on Twitter so we can have a private dialogue. If, that, if you don't want to... Sorry, I just found a splinter in my fucking finger. <laughs> Startled me. I was like fuck is in my finger oh yeah that somehow uh but no tweet tweet me or hit me up on facebook if you have me on facebook but i want to know what everyone thinks about the google console the possibility of a google, of a google console sometimes i don't speak in a way that suits an intelligent adult and i get very angry at my mouth for that but, uh, yeah, I, I want to know, because the, the, my brain is just going crazy with, like, thoughts of, like, what are they going to do, like, for the console itself, exclusives, like, are they going to have any exclusives, or are they just going to be like, we have the Steam, we have Steam on here, some fucking how, this is basically a Steam machine, and, uh, you know, a game console, maybe it's something like that, where it's got, like, a split, I, I don't, I don't know, that's, it just, there's so many things that are rushing through. It's like, t take maybe a Fire Stick or a Google TV. I think that, I think they have things like that. I don't know what Google has. Or an Apple TV or something like that, or Roku. And combine that with, well, that's kind of what the Xbox is. <laughs> and combine that with the game console. And Steam. <sighs> and like, 
the game console itself might have like a different operating system than the one that can open up Steam. Like, I, I don't know. Okay, uh, yeah. L let me know what you guys think about it. I, I just, the idea made me kind of want to go on a thing, and uh, here we are, 20 minutes in. Jesus fuck. God, I talk too much. <laughs> wow. All right. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I just had to, like, laugh at how stupid I am. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about that and uh, about that. Fucking Christ. Let me know what you guys think about the possibility of a Google, con Google console. If my mouth could cooperate. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about a Google console. I, uh, depending on how it goes, I feel like it could be really awesome and epic, or really not, like, useless to the world, you know? It could be a huge innovation like the Switch, or it could be... Fuck, I don't know. Another Game Boy Advanced, or Game Boy 3DS. Nintendo 3DS, even though there's Switches out. I still don't understand why Nintendo's doing that. Like, is anyone really buying the new 3DSs? Like, if you're gonna buy a new co new Nintendo product, just buy the fucking Switch! Like, save that extra money and buy the Switch! <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. See you guys later.